Hello, everybody. It is episode 35 of the GOAT show. I hope everybody's having a blessed Tuesday, and I hope my audio is good as well. Right now, we are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube, and we have a special guest today. She's actually, uh, you know, she's become really close to the GOAT family. Um, she actually works with uh, with the GOATs, and she's part of the team. And we have a a lot of gold nuggets to drop on you guys today. A lot of inspiration. Um, you guys are going to see behind the scenes on the real struggle that's out there from people um, that actually come, you know, through the go through the process of learning how to make money online and actually jump, jump into these programs with no help. So you're going to see from basically the horse herself, um, in a sense, uh, you know, what's being talked about when they come onto these calls distraught. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Jen, our, uh, she's our education specialist is what she is, and she's going to bring some value to you guys. So if you guys are catching this live, hashtag live, if you're on the replay, hashtag replay. And if you guys are on YouTube, quit push uh, hashtag YouTube, or if you're on Facebook, hashtag Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Jen, and we got a slew of questions to ask her today, so it's going to be exciting, guys. Hey, what's up, Jen? How are you doing today? Good, good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So, do you like this? Do you like the the picture like this better, or do you like it like that better? Uh, the first one. This one here, right? The other one. Wait, the other one. whatever you want. I don't Boom. care. Boom! This is perfect. <laughs> All right, now, so Jen, so you know, uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Like when we typically start all these go shows, but yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit of background, and you know, take us through the motions. I guess you could say. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. I just, I relate so much to um, the people I talk to every day because I, I like was them at one point. So um, for me, it was like, I literally sampled everything, trying to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. I didn't know. I studied sociology. I studied psychology. I wanted to be a social worker. I studied marketing. I studied business. I studied entrepreneurship. I didn't know what I wanted to be. Um, and then I studied social media management. I actually looked at affiliate marketing too. I like looked at all the ClickBank stuff and I was like, yeah. And I tried starting a t-shirt business and I tried writing books and like, I didn't stick with any of those things. Like I never followed through. I spent so much time learning and then I dropped off. Um, I'd always get my family super excited about things and they'd be like, all right, let's go, Jen. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. And mm -hmm. the problem, because this is what I run into with people all the time, is like people think they don't have enough knowledge. It's not always about enough knowledge. So I real mean, quick, tell us about your position. Tell us real quick, like what do you do for Passive Income Blueprints in more detail? I don't want to spoil it, but let's give them an inside look of like what you kind of do on a 40,000 foot view. And then we'll dive into like what you're running into a lot of. How's that go? Sure. Perfect. perfect. So um, just saying that I relate to everybody. Um, <laughs> so what I do here is I, I take calls before before people get on the phone with you, uh, which kind of saves you some time in your day because you're a very busy person. Um, so I, I kind of get a feel for where people are at. Um, are they just beginning? Did they just stumble upon us today? Like, do they need a little bit more information? Um, you know, are they somewhere where they can make a decision about getting some higher education? Um, are they just kind of looking for like a beginner's style program? I'm going to sit with them and kind of um, figure out what their situation is and what they're looking for, what kind of help they need um, and figure out what's going to make the, the right decision for them. So that's kind of like a high level overview. So how many people do you think, you know, on a decent, you know, month, do you meet with, uh, on average, or do you speak with, um, and that could be through the DMS follow up new, new oh. leads, just people that are struggling or people just their pain points. So how many people do you think you legitimately speak with new leads, whatever each month? Oh, a lot. <laughs> so would you say, would you put a number on it? Maybe 200 or more? Um, I, I don't know. Like may I speak to at least, so I can talk to up to like 12 people a day on the phone. Um, and then I'm always kind of like following up with people over text and stuff. And sometimes on Facebook, kind of just wherever they're the most reachable. Um, so I could be talking to like up to 12 new people per day. And then um, throughout the week, maybe 40 to 50 people just to kind of keep tabs, keep tabs on them, see where they're at and gotcha. see if they're, they're ready to kind of jump in. Gotcha. So your basic position is just 
pre-qualifying people, finding out what their pain points are, what their struggles. And you're the one who hears all the war stories. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm understanding that because I was on the phones myself doing the setting and then doing the closing. So I would hear literally all the war stories that were passed around, um, not passed around through just like story, but actually events. So get back to with what we were, we were going at, I guess. But, you know, it's just I just wanted to know how many people you actually meet with and talk with each month. So do you want me to go back into what setting is or? Yeah. So, you know, your, your position in setting, but, you know, now we're running into now we know that you pre-qualify people for affiliate marketing and stuff. Um, and you went through all these different journeys of life, right? You started with, um, I guess, uh, what was your very first job you ever had? Uh, I was a cashier. Um, I worked at a grocery store. And so how many jobs have you had and how old are you? So, um, I, so I was a cashier. I did that. I I'm like a long-term person. So I was a cashier for like two or three years. And then I got into serving. I worked at two restaurants all together eight, over eight and a half years. Um, and, um, then I got into sales. So, uh, so why, why sales though? Why, um, why sales out of everything? Okay. So actually I, I took a marketing class. I was, I was going for marketing in business. Like I was going to start my own business because I had all these ideas. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just had one of those professors that was just, um, uh, amazing. And I just tried to take every class he had because he was just, he just made the subject fun. And one of them was a sales class. And like, I didn't think too much of sales before then, but I was just curious. And I learned there, like, it's actually about helping people and forming a relationship with people and doing like the right thing for people. And I was like, that's sales. Like I could do that. Like, that's almost like what a social worker does, but in a different context. Right. Um, and so that's kind of like what got me into sales. And then there is a whole process of going into the wrong programs and paying too much for things and not getting the right information and stuff. So. So up to this point after college and stuff, and you said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to do sales. How long have you been working at sales and like how many masterminds and mentorship programs? Cause you're very skilled at what you do. Right. So like open, you know, shed some, some light on us. You know, it's not all about investing in your education to like learn affiliate marketing, but you wanted to get really good at the craft of sales. And that starts with the first introduction, right? When you first talk with somebody from that, that first point. So how many mentors and how many programs have you been through to get the knowledge you have? Oh my gosh, <laughs> a lot, but I didn't need them all. I really only needed one. Mm -hmm. um, so I started um, the very first mentorship I ever took. I couldn't, you can't even call it that. It was marketed like that. It was supposed to be the best, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to name names, but um, I dropped 10 K on it. And uh, it just, it was just, it was really just a program. And um, my mindset wasn't there. Like I needed accountability. I needed somebody to push me and make sure I didn't fall through the cracks and just help me along. Um, because I didn't believe in myself. I didn't have any self-confidence. I didn't have any self-worth. I didn't think that I was ever going to be anything outside of being a server. And I couldn't see through that to like get through the program and get into the skills. So I fell off of that. I took some time off. And then when I finally got back in, I found a mentor who basically I look at my mentor in sales and you as like two sides of the same coin. Like, I feel like what he did for me is what you do for our students in affiliate marketing. Um, and so I found that kind of community where I had someone to push me. Um, and it completely turned my life around. Um, and I've learned to be a lot more resilient and growth um, oriented. And I've just completely changed my mindset. But I don't think I would have been able to do that without somebody in my corner like that. Gotcha. So many programs, you know, many trials and errors or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Right. And there was um, more. Yeah. Like there's right. more for sure. And then you found somebody that was like-minded. You found somebody that was going to work with you one-on-one -on -one, and that's kind of like he put, you know, he, he took you under your wing or he, you, he took you under his wing and then you basically flourished from there. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So now sales is like your main thing, not slimy sales. Cause you were feeling some kind of way about like sales at first. Right. Now let's talk about that. Um, because some people feel like that as well, right? You know, some people think salesmen are slimy and they all like just trying to get out for money and blood, but there's two sides of the coin, like you said, you know, and so um, let's talk about that too. You know, what kind of sales do you relate with the best? So that's a really great question. I actually almost got out of sales because I looked around and I just saw other people who were icky and like teaching icky things, not my mentor. My mentor is great, mm -hmm. but like just people in the space, like other salespeople I follow, other programs I've like kind of looked into, like they all kind of gave me a sense of ick. Right. <laughs> and um, so what I, I started doing kind of like a self-study, I was like, there's this, 
Like I didn't just dedicate all this time to give up, right? I need to figure this out. So I had to find out who is Jen in sales. Uh, and what I decided on is I want to kind of represent myself as kind of like a conscious salesperson. Um, okay. And that's, that's someone who goes out and they build genuine relationships with people. And they take time to really understand what our customers really want and what they really need. And they're going to offer them solutions that are a good fit um, and not just push things at people because we want them to buy. Like we want people to be a good fit. And like we want we're like in the game of transformation. Like we Indeed. want people who are going to be able to transform their lives. So you so call that you, you call that conscious sales. That's that's my current like I love term it. That I'm using. Yeah. Well, see, that's your own that's your own curriculum. Right. So so not, note that down, guys. Co uh, conscious sales is relating with your target audience or your, 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 your client or whoever, right. On a personal level. So continue. So that's a great, that's great uh, input. Actually. I just took that down to my own mental note. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, and then what people don't know is I just, I showed Eric a stack of books I got yesterday, all like unconscious selling and heart centered selling and selling with love. And it's like, I'm like, I don't see too many other people in this industry who are like so focused on that, but like, that's, I feel like sometimes you're, you're placed somewhere to be the change um, mm -hmm. that wasn't there before. So I feel like that's what my presence is, is here to do is to, to like, and I'm not the only one, but we're just, there's a smaller number of us. Got you. Got you. So you brought this conscious sales aspect and you kind of mended it together with PIB. So, you know, you had different, different opportunities out there to do, do call setting. You know, you have a whole network of sales team, you know, big, big marketers you could have worked with and worked for, you could even went to LM if you wanted to, right? But let me ask you a question. Why did you choose PIB? I'm just super curious because you're super qualified in what you do. You're, you have a huge, you know, like just your network is huge. And I always see, you know, what you're doing and I know, you know, people. So why did you choose PIB in the first place? Yeah. So, um, it's, it's because it, it mirrors my sales mentorship. Like it's so similar, um, down to the fact that, you know, we have multiple coaches who are all specialized in different things and we're being held accountable and, and we have someone who like cares about us. Um, it's just, it's just a direct mirror. And it's, it's like that small community where you don't get lost. Like um, my mentor specifically keeps the group small. And I know mm -hmm. you do that too, because otherwise people just fall through the cracks and no one ever gets their questions answered. And so, because that made such a big difference for me, um, even though it's not sales, like it's mm -hmm. affiliate marketing, which is still really awesome. It's something that I'm interested in too. Um, I just, I wanted to be able to feel good about the thing that I was representing. Like I can't be involved in something that I don't feel good about. So um, it, passive income blueprints just kind of fit the bill on all of those things that I was looking for. Gotcha. That's, I never asked that question before, so might as well ask now, right? Um, so we kind of already explained what a call setter is um, and all those things. And thank you for the kind words too. Um, it's a it's a whole community of people um, that's actually done this together, um, right? We started with an idea and then it just kind of blew up from there and we just got the right people uh, to work with us. Um, so yeah. So um, who are you looking to work with here at PIB, at PIB? Like as far as like when you find an ideal uh, person you're talking with, let's let's talk about that. Like who would your ideal be ideal person be? So we're looking to find the people who are aligned with us and what we're doing. They we want them to know this isn't some get rich quick overnight kind of thing. Um, this is going to take some work. It's going to take some time. Uh, we want people who are going to be coachable. They're going to listen to us and the things that we tell them um, to do and not just be like, oh, like, maybe I'll try that. I'm going to do my own thing first. We want people who are going to follow along um, and we want people who are going to like they're going to show up for themselves day in and day out and put in the work and like show up for their business and show up for the lives and the dreams and the goals that they're trying to like build for themselves. We don't want people who are just going to be like, ah, oh, you know, like I'm going to come in, maybe I'm going to go on vacation and then maybe I'll come in. And right. uh, we want people who are going to hit the ground running um, because that that's what we want. We want transformation. hundred percent, hundred percent. So you're talking about that transformation and people come to you, you know, how are you pre-qualifying people? Like, what does your process look like? You know, cause I know a lot of other companies, we're not going to bring any names up, but there's not too much of a pre-qualifying process. They're not asking you too much internal stuff, you know, to find out the pain points and roadblocks that you are going through to find out what is the best solution for that person. So we here at Passive Income Blueprints, we really want to pre-qualify people to have the right fit on both sides. So what is the pre-qualifying process, Jen? 
So there are a few things that I look for. Um, I wrote them down, so I'm going to kind of read off of here. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to kind of do like a high level and then go back and explain. Oh, for um, sure. So we're going to look at people's attitude, um, their experience level, their experience with other online programs. We're going to look into finances. We're going to look at the support system and we're going to look at their time. Um, so that's high level. And then kind of just going back and talking a little bit about each. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes. For attitude, um, like I said before, like, you know, we're looking for people who aren't just trying to get rich quick. Um, people who are going to do their homework, they've watched our content, they're going to take action because those are the people we know they are going to come into the mastermind and they're going to do their homework and they're going to see success. Um, we People who know building their, their own business is going to require their time, and effort and energy, um, and they're going to be willing to do whatever it takes to be successful and you know not run at that first sign of difficulty because we know the valley of despair, like it's, gonna, it's coming, right? It's real, so, yeah. You have to have that attitude, that resilient attitude that you're going to do this no matter what. Like you're just, you're going to do it. So. Gotcha. So that's the attitude. We have to have a hundred percent all in attitude. Yes. Love it. Um, all right. So experience level. Um, this is just to get a feel for where they're at to see um, how we're going to be able to best help them. So like, I want to know, like, are they completely new? Do they have no idea what affiliate marketing even is yet? Um, have they been trying this for a while? They haven't seen results from other programs. Like there's people all in between. Um, so I just want to get a good feel for like where they're at, where they're coming from, like what their needs are going to be with that. Indeed. Indeed. So the next part is their experience with other online programs. Um, and I just want to know what their experience has been like, um, what, what's been missing, uh, in their education and what are they kind of hoping to get out of a mentorship with us? And I just want to make sure like people's like what they're looking for is going to be a good match for like what we, what we do for people. hundred percent. So you're talking about experience with other programs. I want to touch on that a little bit. What has your experience been for people's, I guess, people that you meet with, um, are a percentage percentage of them more of like, um, say struggled and already tried another program or just brand new? So I would say, most of the people I talk to are people who have come from another program, have struggled and, and didn't see the results. Sometimes I get people who are brand new, but it, the biggest majority is people coming in from other places. And it's not just one place. Like there is a large majority that is one place, but there are several places that they're like, they, they just drop the ball for them in their education. So what are the, what, what, when you mean drop the ball, like what are the, what are they experiencing, right? when they go through that process that, you know, that you're, they're telling you, right. And that's kind of like consistent across the board, just a couple things. Cause I, maybe this is going to touch home for a few people. Yes. So, um, so you're asking like, what are the kind of common challenges and obstacles? Before? Yeah. Like what they're running into, you okay. know, and it's kind of just typical. So uh, mostly it's people coming in from the programs that they, they lack support. Um, there's no community. And it's just like, it's just a course. Um, there's no help. There's, there's nothing. There's no accountability. Um, they're just getting lost in the cracks. They, they're super confused. No one will answer their questions. They're being told to Google things. Um, they're being told to copy other people. They're being told to do like a follow for follow so that they're only following other people who are in their program. So they're not getting like the right kind of audience. They don't know how to pick an audience. They don't even know that there's strategies. They have no idea how to do um, or get organic content. They don't know how to reach people. Like there's so many things and it's, it's honestly really upsetting. Um, especially when I know like what we have here and how much we help people. Um, it's, it's really upsetting to hear like people that are coming from other programs, like, and they thought this was going to be the thing. And it, it reminds me of my experience too in sales. Um, so yeah, I kind of just went that's off. That's crazy. That, <laughs> no, that's perfect. So that's like, that's a complete ebook. What you will experience when you jump into a cheaper pro or less adequate programs, right? And then you can write a whole ebook and what you're gonna experience. That's crazy. So yeah, so now I'm guessing the next thing is the finances. Yes. So let me scroll back up here. Okay. I need notes. That's the kind of person I am. Um okay. So we're gonna talk about financial situation. Uh I want to make sure an investment makes sense for them right now because we're not in the business of taking food off of people's tables. So it's it's my job to talk to them about that and, and make sure like getting an education, getting like investing into themselves isn't going to hurt them um, right now. So and if it is like we're, we're going to wait a little bit or we're going to look into other options. Gotcha. Perfect. So for support system, 
I want to find out what kind of support system they have. Um, who do they have to lean on, you know, during, during this journey? Like we're very into spousal support here. Like that's a huge thing, like being honest and transparent with our spouses and having them come in and help. I know Jessica did a lot of help, um, for you. And then, um, let's see. So like, you know, if they don't have anyone, uh, I'm going to make a note of that because that's going to be someone who needs more support from our community. So, um, that's just kind of what I talk about with support system. And then for time, you know, are they are they at a place in their lives where they have the time to put into this? Like um, we want our students to be able to put two to three hours a day in like to learn, educate themselves, create content, go live and stuff. So sometimes people are like, no, like I, I don't even have an hour a week. I'm like, ah. like right. might not be the best time to jump in uh, for you right now. So, you know, I've seen this. I've seen this this morning, two different creators from the same program, but they're saying uh, all you need is a, is a, a phone. Uh, and it has to be connected to Wi-Fi or, you know, it has to be a connected phone to do this business. But they didn't say anything about Wi-Fi or anything about a computer or anything else about anything. All you needed was a phone to start this, to build all your stuff out. And so what what would you say was required to start this business actually to be successful with, you know, um, cell phone, stuff like that, right? But you need a computer. Would you say you need a computer in this business? So that's actually a great question. And I've got that one before. It's it is easier to do some of the things we do if with a computer but if you don't have one there like you can borrow one from a friend or just go to a library and put certain things in place like there's going to be certain things mm -hmm. you need to build and then once you kind of have that in place like it'll be pretty easy to just kind of do things from your phone if that's what you have to do indeed so i wanted that i wanted to hear that come from somebody else because i've seen this content people are like really in it you know they had five thousand people saying yeah i have a cell phone but i don't have a computer i'm ready to start and then when they jump into this and they pay that money or whatever the investment is, then like, okay, now you need a computer. Now you need all those other things. So it's good to pre-qualify people. That's why I brought that up. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So time is definitely a factor. Um, we want to make sure that they have, if they have a nine to five, we want to make sure they have at least 180 minutes a day, right? To put in towards their business. Perfect. So my next question, Jen, um, what solutions and action steps do uh, I give, or do you give people on your call in order to get them to the next step? Yes. Um, so as part of like being a conscious salesperson, mm -hmm. um, I already believe, I believe that people already have the answers inside of them. Like deep down, they know what they want. Um, so for me, it's like, it's my job to help them discover their answers, organize it all into an action plan and then guide them to make it like the best decision for themselves, like in their situation. So like to, it's going to depend on like their awareness level of where they're at. There's going to be people who I get who are like, I've never heard of you before today. And I was just curious. Mm -hmm. And so like people like that, I'm probably just going to give them some extra resources. I'm going to let them check them out, get more familiar with us. You know, we like it when people do their homework and like check mm -hmm. out our content. Um, so, you know, the work we kind of do, the help we give our students, the value we provide, and then I'll check in with them. So like, that's where I'll start people like that. That's like one awareness level. Um, then there's the people coming in from like a cheap course. They, they barely got a taste of the basics. Um, they're not, maybe not financially qualified for a full mentorship at this time. Mm -hmm. These are people who I'm going to make the suggestion to get into the 12 day masterclass because then they can start learning. They can be in a supportive atmosphere. They can have access to coaches. Um, and it's like a really great option for people who aren't able to like fully invest into themselves in their education. Um, and it also means like they're not going to stay stuck and stagnant wondering what to do next, because this is a thing I hear from people all the time. Like people who are just not fi in a financial position to move into mentorship. Mm -hmm. They're so grateful that, like, especially our students, our, our current students, like, they're so grateful that the 12 day exists because nobody else is doing something like that. Nobody else has something that has so much support um, and like access to actual coaches and like people who are answering them around the clock pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, they're just I get so much gratitude just for the fact that that even exists. So that's what I would do for people like that. Um and then lastly, uh, we have people who are ready to, like, to dive in. Uh, they know who we are. They're tired of trying to figure this thing out on their own. They know they're like me. They know they need extra help and accountability. Mm -hmm. They haven't been able to get the help they need it from other programs. And they're not ready to give up on themselves. Um, and these are the people who will do whatever it takes to succeed in this industry. And those are the people that get to go on a call with you to talk about what enrollment would look like for them. That's beautiful. So you have a you have a spot for everybody, right? You know, it, it's you just lined it out and you hit every little pain point or every qual or qualification aspect a person would need to even start right you know i'm not in the position to invest myself at all this time so you put them in a free facebook group you tag them in some free content give them some free you know whatever 
And so you work with that individual. Now a person say, okay, I want to get in the 12 day master class because I only have 300 bucks, but I really want the attention and, and all that stuff. I can't afford the, the roadmap or, you know, work with Eric and the team personally. So just go ahead and put me in a 12 day and you can assign them that. So you're giving somebody an option through the whole process rather than a cut line in the sand and say, this is it or nothing. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm learning a lot, a lot more about like, even cause I don't know, you, you know, the position a lot more than I do. Um, I don't do it anymore. Right. And you just, this is your thing. So it's just beautiful to hear what's actually being done on the other end. Cause I don't listen to all your calls. Right. And I don't listen to you to really honestly tell you after the first couple of the, of the quality that I was hearing, I haven't really listened to too many unless you ask me to listen to them because it's just value, but it's just super fire. So, yeah. So let's get on to the next one, I guess. Um, is, what, is that the whole thing? Uh, we have not... a couple more. We have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Couple. Continue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Um, well, so another question you, you can kind of have me at but words are hard, right? So, um, you had asked me like, maybe give some examples of good leads. And so yeah. I kind of, I kind of took a kind of a different stance on this being a conscious salesperson. Um, I, I learned like there, we should never assume things about people. So like as an affiliate for us, like, don't just assume like, um, that someone isn't going to be like a good lead. We don't know people's situations. Um, and you know, just from a brief interaction with them in the DMS, like we're not going to be able to pick up on, on anything. Um, however, uh, there are mm -hmm. a few, <laughs> there's a few things like there. Okay. I'll just say it. Um, there's people who they'll get on the phone with me and they have, they have no idea what, what we do, uh, who, who we are, what affiliate marketing even is Th these people, they're going to require just a little bit more care um and nurturing because their awareness level is, is basically zero um and those are the people i'm going to give like a pile of homework to and then if they get through it then we'll talk again so like but i put the i put it on them because it's like that's what we do here like you're responsible for yourself Perfect. um and then there's there's going to be people these these are people who maybe are a, a bad lead these people are just looking to make a quick buck they just they're just here because they heard they can make some money and they don't care who they hurt in the process. They don't care if the product they're selling is bogus. Like they just want to make money. That's they're Those people aren't a good fit. So you have one that has, is like not, not even maybe problem aware yet. And yeah. then you have some that are problem aware. Then you have some that are solution aware. And then you have some that are uh, product aware, right? So, you know, with the people that are say product aware and they're hungry and they come from another program or, and they're still, moving forward in their business after investing $2,500. I've seen this right here. So many people cannot afford the 2,500 from, uh, from LM, but some the people that do still afford the $2,500 uh, still come to us either way. So that's amazing. So those are the types of leads that you actually deal with each day. Yeah. Most common or, you know, most common. Uh, I do get people who unfortunately have dropped 25, hundred on other programs and they still show up here and they're still like, I don't understand. I can't get any help. And that's like really deeply saddening for me. Like that's really upsetting. Um, those people almost always go straight to you. I'm like, you need Eric's help. Like he's going to help you. <laughs> yeah, You're a really emotional person. I remember we were going through this and there were so many people coming to us that already invested a lot of money. And you're like, I don't know how to handle this because I feel bad even yeah. sending them to you because they've already been beat up, you know? And it's one of those things that some people have to go through those those trials and errors. But either way, you know, they still receive information. It's, not, it's nothing bad. And they still have a great story to tell. I can, you know, definitely duplicate their money. But for sure. That's, That's the same thing that happened to me. Like, I, I went through, I told you I dropped 10K on a program. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first time I've ever dropped that much money because I, I had also been taking, like, the cheap programs. like, And then somehow someone convinced me, like, you know, it's important to invest in yourself. Like, I'm so grateful for that experience because it was a domino effect. Like I was so much more open to educating myself and falling fat, flat on my face. And like, I started meeting all these people. Um, I wouldn't have connected with my current mentor had it not been for like that course. So mm -hmm. even though it didn't work out, like I'm grateful for the experience. Like I never would have kept going or, or even known what I could do in this industry if I didn't start somewhere. So right. gratitude. Yeah, because I guess, you know, when you first invest that, that much money, 10K, that's huge for a first investment for sure. But, you know, once you do that, you at that point, you're like, okay, I have to get my money back. So I'm going to do no matter no matter what I got to do, I'm going to get my money back. So if that's investing again to find figure out how they're doing this, I'm going to do that. I that's, put it on you know, a credit card. Like, that's I, a great mindset. I didn't have it. I was just like, okay, like, I have mm -hmm. a credit card. I have good credit. <laughs> Let's yeah, go. It's, a, it's a beautiful mindset, though. You know, it's OPM principles, other people's money, yep. leverage credit and you know if you if you do if you play your cards right a lot of these programs out there not a lot but some of them 
you can get your investment back before you know you're even really seeing too much of that interest rate hit your credit card and then you're paying that off either way building flyer miles so that you can go travel that's great so yeah jen let's move on we switch this right here 12 day match class is amazing has been my motivation inspiration and education it's integrity the humi humility yes absolutely and i'll tell you what right now jen has been such a help with everybody inside the facebook groups directing them into places where they need to go so let's give a good example of some good leads like i think you might have already went through that a little bit but let's let's like a, a good qualified lead um without any experience okay a good qualified lead without any experience people who are excited you know like <clears throat> maybe they just stumbled upon us last night but they have eaten up our content they've been in our group they're like whoa like you guys are incredible um those people i find like those people are gonna do better they're not like i don't know i just thought maybe you tell me what you do like you can <laughs> I, do, I get that um so uh i feel like people like that um they they do better like they they're like i love this idea i love the idea of kind of like being um uh, what, like a authority figure mm -hmm. and building an audience. And like, I just, I love this whole idea. I've always kind of wanted to get into something like that. Um, and like it hit them, like it smacked them on the head and it was like, Hey, I'm here. And interestingly enough too, like uh, I get a lot of people who are like, I was praying about this. And then this was the very next thing that came up. Like I get that a lot. It, it, um, so yeah, when I was going through your, when I was in your position, it was happening to me a lot too. Like I seen a sign or like I prayed about something and this happened. It's, I, I didn't want to say it, but you're the one first, first person to say it. I, so I don't think I sound like I'm crazy or nothing, but no, it happens a lot. No, I get it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, hey, you know, the God and the universe works in mysterious ways. So, mm -hmm. for um, sure. But yeah. So the, I'm, does that answer your question? Do you have anything to add? Yeah, no, no, for sure. Like, you know, just a qualified lead that, you know, being excited is huge, right? And just keeping that excitement too. And that's our job, right? We inspire and then we keep them excited by motivating them to take advantage of different you know i guess challenges right because that's all everything is if once you take advantage of something like if you're looking at like a project right like a you're building a house and it's like nothing's there but the foundation and then three four weeks later like you got the stick you know the foundations up everything you know the the frames up and everything like that framed it in the roofs on it but when you're finally finally done you didn't want to start in the beginning it feels so good right so it's just we got to keep that motivation and then those small wins along the way like you know when you start building a house if it wasn't building as you're building on it or working on it, you probably wouldn't finish it. But as you're seeing pieces come together and it starts looking more like a house, it inspires you to keep going forward and moving forward. Right. So it's just like a business, just like anything that we do. So I don't know. I just wanted to throw that in there. I love it. Yeah, for sure. So what are the, some of the common challenges or obstacles that you face when attempting to learn affiliate marketing through inexpensive courses? So we, we touched on that a little bit before um but i'll just kind of go through and make sure we didn't skip anything i kind of i i went off i went on a rant earlier oh it's all good um, but yeah essentially like we have people coming to us uh they've never learned how to track people with their content they don't even realize they, they should have a strategy like they just were like oh just get on here and put a product on here and people will buy it it's not true you, you, there's it's business like you if there's skills you have to learn how to market yourself you have to learn how to sure. do all of it um but they don't know who they're supposed to be talking to they're just told to copy other people be like everyone else um like there's no authenticity in that right like they don't mm -hmm. they don't learn to tell their personal story um just be be like everyone else that doesn't do anything for anyone like no buy, it doesn't people buy people and people buy people's stories like they don't just buy products because you put it out there Indeed. build it they will come that's not true like you have to market yourself um, for sure anyway. so what is your favorite thing about being uh, an education specialist slash i guess call setter right um, yes. what's your favorite um, thing about being a call setter? Um, I like it because I get to talk to so many different people, uh, and personality types and people who are at all different stages of their journey. And I get to be a part of that journey and I get to help them make decisions and guide them in, into things that are going to dramatically transform their lives. And even if there's someone who, you know, affiliate marketing wasn't for them, or they're not quite qualified yet to jump into one of our programs, like, I find a way to bring value to people and like be a light in somebody's mm -hmm. life. Like people, like people are going through so much, right? Like people are depressed. Like I get people tell me that all the time. They're like, mm -hmm. I'm really depressed. Like I feel stuck. Like I'm in a hamster. I relate to that. You know, like I spent a lot of my life depressed. Um, and I just want to make sure like I can be a light in someone's life 
even even if they're not a fit for our program right now, even if they'll never be a fit for the program, like I want to leave people with something that's going to make their human experience better. So it's just it's just I like having an effect on people. I like talking about uh, talking to people, make helping them make decisions. Um, I have a person uh, I don't remember who it was exactly, but in their family, they lived, I think, in Alabama. They wrestled alligators. I was like, that's <laughs> so cool. Like, it's just so much fun to just. I love hearing about people's lives and like dogs. If you get, if anyone has a dog and they bring their dog up, I get super excited about that. So it's just, it's just fun to talk to people. That's awesome. You know, it, I haven't had one bad thing anybody say about you or any, any, anything on any call. It doesn't matter if somebody didn't have any money and they're just trying to get out of their mom's basement and you, you know, you had to break the news to them that they couldn't work with, you know, the, us over here, you get, you still help them out. And I, there's not one bad thing that's coming, come from anybody. I just want to let you know that for sure. So um, one question or one comment here is that people do buy off emotion. And if you can hit different uh, emotion levels, emotional levels throughout a person, um, it's going to release different, you know, uh, chemicals, serotonin, oxytocin, uh, adrenaline. And you put somebody in a buyer's mode, right? It's all about uh, asking the right questions and leaving no questions unanswered. Um, and at that point, a person typically has no choice but to invest. So you're absolutely right. And then Jen says, uh, or Barb says, Jen, Jen Burnett, you are the best. You are, Jen. See, so much love out there from, from everyone. I'm telling you right now, like, you're phenomenal. I'm, I'm so grateful. That we're, we are so grateful to have you here. All right. So what are you working on outside of PIB? All right. So um, I'm, like, so multi-passionate. Like, I think you could probably tell from all the things I've ever tried. Um so outside, I'm building myself like a brand as a mm -hmm. conscious like sales consultant. But I also am working on um, starting a second business. And uh, I want to help people with self-discovery and finding their purpose and like having a positive impact in the world and, and showing up as the change that they wish to see. So uh, as of right now, I'm planning out a series of like mini courses um, and then also a podcast. And that's going to be focused on, you know, interviewing everyday people who are out making a difference in their communities. So that's kind of like what I'm working on on the side. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to bring everything in under one brand. Um, I learn a lot from from you. Uh, sometimes we have like random talks about how to brand myself and stuff. So, um, yeah, you're doing great. Um, you know, they're, they're, this is uh, Jen's Facebook a uh, group, right, Jen? That's or my your, page. Or your That's page. all I okay. have right now. Okay, so this is Jen's Facebook page. Reach out to her. It's a heart-centered human. Uh, and her direction is basically just help and inspire people, right? Motivate. Um, and, you know, she's been through a lot as herself as well and had a lot of emotional stuff going on with her, you know, and she pulled out of it. So, but she's here with a lot of training to back up on emotional, basically, uh, connection right and that's what she's all about is finding you know where people are at where they want to be and where they're going kind of thing so make sure you guys screenshot uh this screenshot the uh her facebook page please so and, yeah um, go feel ahead. free to message me um yeah. obviously it's not a facebook group like i don't have it yet it's everything's in the works still but um friend request me and um you know because i don't check my spam messages and then if mm -hmm. i still am not seeing it because i have so many in there start being weird and liking my posts i'm like who is this person i gotta check them out <laughs> <laughs> for sure make sure you guys check out jen uh in her page for sure um good stuff good content great person all around 100 percent. let me see here so yeah so we found we can find you on facebook um so much value dropped today i hope everybody you know receive some value out of this so let's ask let's open the doors for some questions if you guys have any questions about the sales process about connecting with you know with your leads um anything like that so be sure to ask any questions you have so what is funny susan i'm gonna laugh too <laughs> but yeah um for sure if you guys have any questions about jen and like you know what she's talking about because it's actually a skill in what she does uh you know connecting with people and moving them through the needle uh the far as the dm process and you know going back and forth and and all that she's really good at that those types of things so she has a lot of skills she hasn't uncovered to you guys today but she has a lot going for herself mm -hmm. for sure so Eventually, yeah jen. I'll, I'll have to start um doing some some value dropping and some knowledge dropping in the in the actual course oh that'd be that'd be fire like even putting your little you know we could talk about putting a course of your own in the in the roadmap you know it's going to help somebody with 
you know, connecting with their audience. There's, I'm sure you have so much to value to add, you know, um, either way for sure. So yeah, if you guys would like to check out Jen um, on her page, it's Heart Centered Human. Um, and she is Passive Income Blueprints uh, Education Specialist or, you know, call setter, I guess you could say. It's great having you on today, Jen. Um, run through all the questions. Is there any questions you have for me or anything? I know I wasn't prepared for that question. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to throw you off real quick. Because uh, you see, hang on, we have one right here. All right. This is a long one. I'll go ahead and let you read it, Jen. Okay. Uh, so this is from Mary. Uh, she's just saying, you know, she's so excited about the program. She's currently plowing through the 12 day uh, to get to the point where she can be an affiliate for us. Um, she's already got somebody lined up. I just talked to her a couple days ago, too, um, who's ready to purchase as soon as she's an affiliate. And she's currently watching Anthony talk about making content on TikTok. Um, she followed. Oh, she. Yeah. Oh, she was. She did the follow for follow with other affiliate marketers. Um, and she thinks that totally screwed up her her algorithm. I remember talking about that. Um, so, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, Mary, um, sounds like you're lying down. And everything is rolling forward. OK. Susan was talking about how you said just be weird and, and stalker, I think. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Susan. I have a lot of personality. <laughs> she, she thought it was cute. Yeah. J Jen is uh, full of uh, even in the morning. She's bubbly, um, you know, and it's like I pull her out of bed pretty early Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. And so we have team meeting uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, pretty early in the morning. So she's still bubbly and I love it. Good stuff. Good stuff, Jen. So, yeah, if there's any other questions you have for Jen before we wrap it up right here. If you guys have any kind words to say to Jen before we wrap it up, because, you know, we all know how awesome she is. Um, she's she is badass to work with. She's super. She really is. Christine, um, if you guys don't know, uh, she's actually working with PIB as well. And she's helping. Uh, with the call setting at one, at one point and now she's helping with our challenges that was coming out soon guys so some stuff is coming to pib very very soon you guys are gonna be excited for um a lot of opportunity for a lot of people right for sure what's this one jen is the bomb yes jen you are honestly don't ever under underestimate yourself you know don't don't ever second guess second guess any decision you make like I tell you, you know, just can just do what you do. You don't even have to message me about anything. Unless it's really severe, just take your own action on it. You know, make your own deal. And you pretty much built your whole program, what you've got going on in the call setting department. You've built all of that. Like, you know, with the help of Anthony, our fiend, and you know, some of the staff, but for the most part, you built all of that. The SOPs, all the the documents, the sheets, everything. Like I'm 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 grateful for you. So just want to say that, Jen, 100 percent And I'm grateful for you because you, you helped me with my confidence level. Um, like I was, I was still a little iffy about like, you know, who I was and like how, how I showed up and like what I was doing. And like at every corner, you're like, you're doing great. Like you're doing awesome. I love this. Like my confidence has went up so much just by working with you. So I'm really grateful just to be here. Awesome. Jen, that's, you know, what we try to do here is build people's confidence. And yeah, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Let me see right here. Totally admire Jen's attitude and love of helping others. Being in sales for the last 10 years, I'd totally buy from you, Jen. Well, book a call. <laughs> you can talk to her personally. Hello, I love your program. Can your training help with DM or of yes, it can. 100 percent We can take that physical product and we could help you monetize it, put it on social media, put some uh, proper DM scripting behind it, you know, proper messaging. Yeah, we work with personal trainers. We have bookkeepers. We have a variety of people we work with. So it's not just one dimensional. We're uh, digital marketers here. And uh, Jen can help you in any direction there is, really. Such a positive person. Love it. Thank you so much, Retire Mima. That's Terry. She's, man, Terry, when she, she's another blessed soul, too. A super, super positive person, bubbly as well. Uh, she came to me just, you know, not, she's wanting to give up, not really wanting to move forward. And now she's here almost two years later, uh, Terry. Crazy, right? So excited to bring to bring people into the community. Mary, we're excited to help them, right? Um, keep, keep doing the positive work out there. Keep doing the positive things. So, Jen, do you have anything to say, you know, to take us out real quick? Um, some positive words, inspiration, even to sell yourself, whatever. Tell them where people can find you. Um, how can we, how can they connect with you? What do you do? Do you offer mentorship? Will you work with somebody on one, one, one-on-one, you know, what's, what's up? 
this is why I like you because you just open the doors of possibility. You just have so many ideas about things that people could do. Um, I'm not offering any personal mentorship yet, um, but you can reach me. Like I'm literally available at all hours. Like I have, like I have so many students on Facebook. Um, mm -hmm. like we're like, I just made my first sale, or like I just did this. Like I, I get really excited when people reach out to me. Like yes, like all the wins too. So yeah, if you're mm -hmm. if you're curious and you just you just have some some chat or some chats. Yeah. If you just want to chat a little bit, if you're, if you're curious about, you know, either passive income blueprints, or if you're curious about what it's like to be in sales, like just hit me up on Facebook and the DMS. Um, and we'll just, we can take it from there. For sure. Uh, Jen is literally knee deep in high ticket sales, the closing department, um, qualification department. So if you guys are out there watching this right now and you guys, you know, want to get into high ticket sales and get some training or, you know, she has, she knows coaches and she has mentors that are really in deep with this type of stuff. So if you're a call center now, or if you work for Verizon wireless or at and T I'm calling you out, right? You want to make more money and, you know, have more time and freedom for yourself. Uh, hit up Jen for sure. You know, uh, maybe Facebook or maybe uh, affiliate marketing is not your thing, right? Maybe you still would like to, you know, do this kind of stuff, but you know, you're, you want to talk to people more, right? Whatever. Um, it's not really sales. When we bring it, when we, when we boil it, boil, when we boil it all down like to nothing, um, it's just connecting with people, right? And persuading people to believe in themselves. That's all you really got to do, right? Um, if people invest in themselves to upgrade, um, typically like buy a new car or go from their mom's basement to an apartment. It typically buy to upgrade brand new shoes, right? Or to better themselves, right? Health wise. So if we can influence uh, what we do each day other people we can influence what we do by other by our actions influence other people that's all we got to do man and that's sales 100 percent. right tell your story exactly so jen thank you so much again hit her up hit up jen she's gonna have a coaching program soon guys coming out so look out for it <laughs> all right she's gonna have something coming out um she's definitely got so much value to spread so um thank you so much for uh terry thank you so much jen um appreciate you you have a blessed day. Um, I'm sure I'll talk to you later on. I'll try not to bug you too much. Uh, don't worry about it. I got a pretty easy day today. I'm just going to do some training myself, get back into the, get back into my books. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So you have a blessed day, Jen, and I will see you um, later. All right. Bye All right. everybody. Bye Jen. All right, Jen, uh, everybody. That was a phenomenal interview with uh, Jen uh, Barnett, she uh, is absolutely crushing it, you know, for PIB and she, you know, wherever she goes, she's absolutely a blessing to be around, a joy to be around, right? Um, so, so much inspiration going on out there. If you guys have not got started already and you guys are wanting to get going uh, with affiliate marketing or digital marketing, if you have a, a personal brand yourself or if you have a, a, a physical product and you want to figure out how to monetize that, and put it on social media, um, we can help you, right? Um, the whole funnel system, everything, everything you want to know about uh, monetizing yourself on social media accounts and social media platforms. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, this up here real quick. This is the GOAT show. Um, if you guys want to get uh, instant notifications, go ahead and text GOATS, all capital letters to 21,000. Um, and we go live Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays at 11 o'clock a.m. and on Fridays at 8 o'clock p.m., Eastern Standard Time. All right. And if you guys are ready and chomping at the bit to start working with passive income blueprints, then please go right here to oh, wrong one. Where are we at here? Passive income blueprints.com. Uh, There's my Facebook group. So if you guys go there, you go check out my Facebook group. All right. Um, and then here is. Yep, that's it. All right, guys. Well, that being said, you guys have a blessed day. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Um, yeah, it was a great information. So guys, take action on everything you guys do. Uh, take care of each other, man. Uh, it's all about getting your time back, right? That's one thing we cannot get back is time, but they keep printing money every single day. Don't limit yourself. You know, don't think you got to save your money for the rest of your life. Just spend more money, right? All you got to do, if you want to spend more money, just make more money. It's super simple. You just got to take action, ask questions. You guys have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you on the inside.